So you're here tonight for the iHeartRadio Secret Session. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about this is it's like the biggest musicians in the world. And they're playing in these small venues that you would expect to see, you know, you in mm -hmm. at the beginning of your career. Mm -hmm. But now fans get to see you in the small venue. From an artist perspective, do you prefer playing the smaller venues to the larger arenas? Ooh, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely, there's pros and cons to both. Last time that I was in Toronto, I played the arena mm -hmm. and it was an, actually an amazing show. Like super awesome. One of my favorites of the tour, um, if I remember correctly. And like, you know, you have a massive production, you have like lights and like visuals and it's crazy. And like the fans are a part of this like mob mentality where everyone's together looking around this room being like, this many people feel the same as me. Oh my gosh. You know, cause you, you figure everyone's connecting. But when you play a small room, it's kind of like there's less – it's less of a, a spectacle and it's more of just like storytelling. Yeah. You know, like I think less about what I'm wearing. I'm not worried about being having my face up on the big screen Yeah, kind of thing. I'm kind of just there and I'm funny and stupid and I can see <laughs> some kid in front of my face and just like make a joke and, you know, I can see someone in the back with a sign that says something amazing and talk to them about that and like – it's almost like there's less less pressure, yeah. I guess, so it feels a little bit more casual, like more natural. And sometimes, th we'll pause for Toronto moments. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the best the best stuff can uh, can really come out of that. Um, you know what I mean? Do you find like at this stage in your career, do you still get nervous ever before you go on stage at a show, or is that sort of over and done with? You know, I don't really get stage fright. I'll get nervous about other stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I I get nervous when I do like award shows things like that. Concerts, I don't really ever get nervous. Just because I know my fans and I love them so much and I'm like, I can literally fall on my face and break my nose and they would be like, yeah! <laughs> you know, like everyone would be so supportive no matter what. So it's like, it's very, um, it's a very motivating factor. You did the live debut of Graveyard at Rihanna's Fenty fashion show. What was that like? I mean, the environment was insane. It was mm -hmm. so crazy. It was like so many like beautiful people, half naked, running around, <laughs> like supporting each other, uplifting each other. The music was like, I don't know, it was like loud and guttural and everyone was just like dancing and I was backstage, I was so nervous. I remember I was about to go on and Cara Delevingne came over to me and she was like, Oh, like, you're so excited. I was like, yeah. And she was like, look at these and look at it. And I'm like, I was like in my head and I was like so nervous, but I like didn't want to tell her I was nervous. So I just kept being like, uh-huh. <laughs> so she was like trying to talk to me about the show. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And then they grabbed me and they were like, um, all right, come on, Halsey. And I was like, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> I was just talking to Cara. I'm not ready yet. Um, but when I got over to her, I was supposed to go, all the girls that had been dancing with me, um, you know, and Jade, who, who have danced with a bunch of times outside of the show, they were all like, are you ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You know, they're like patting me, like so excited. And I was like, okay, cool. I feel at home here. Yeah. And like made me feel a lot better, I think. Uh, as an artist, I feel like we see a lot of pop stars when they first launch and it's a very sort of constructed mm. view of them and they hold back from sharing things. But you don't seem to do that. You seem to be pretty open and honest yeah. with a lot of things that perhaps other artists might not feel comfortable sharing with their fans and with the public. Is there a reason why you feel so comfortable with it? Um, I don't think I ever really intended to become a pop star. It's mm. kind of like an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I think some, that's, you know, some people want that and so therefore they it feels very fragile so they can kind of control like mm -hmm. what, they, what they put out because their intent is to get very big you know and they want to be be safe about it and I think for me like it always kind of worked out better when I would when I would share yeah with the class you know what <laughs> I mean like that kind of always worked out worked out better for me and I think I I think I really thought there was like um a ceiling for how big an artist like me could get at mm -hmm. the time I was playing like clubs and you know I was making music that I would never have gotten radio play you know at the time and so I was kind of like you know, this is the artist I'm going to be forever. And I'm, that's cool. I'm like super into that. Like I have my fans. I love what I do. And then, you know, it kept kind of growing and it kept growing, kept growing. And um, at no point did like the men in the big suits come in and like put their arms underneath my armpits and be like, okay, you need to stop talking. We're dragging you out. Like, shut up. Like, you know, no one did that. So I just kind of kept talking. It's cool because it feels like, is, has it felt like empowering for you to, you know, share with fans and then bond with them over that? Yeah, but the fans, definitely. The fans is the best part. The media is the not the best part. I think, you know, there was maybe like a little bit of time where I got kind of nervous about sharing things because once you put them out into the world, they're not yours anymore. Mm -hmm. And then people can, you know, decide whatever they want about them. You know, just like stupid stuff. Like I would, um, I would say in like an interview and I would be like, yeah, like I don't really drink like. 
I'm really busy. Like, I love wine. Like, that kind of thing. And then, like, you know, the next day there was, like, an article that was, like, Halsey is sober. And I was, like, whoa. (laughs) I didn't say that. Oh, that's tight. Like, if I was, that would be so cool. But I'm not. And, like, this is, hold on. This this is so crazy. Like, I didn't even say any of that. And those are, like, you know, that's an example of, like, a situation where I'd be, like, okay, I apparently need to be careful about (laughs) everything now. Um, But I also can't censor myself, Mm -hmm. you know. So I've just learned to be very... um, Careful but open, and I made sure that the inf- I give information to the people that it matters to. You like the fans. are in this month's issue of Cosmo. Yeah, it's an amazing article. Thanks. Photos are so beautiful. Um, and in it, you said that you feel like your fans feel as if you are their friend from camp. Totally. That was such a good, you know, descriptive, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Because anyone who's gone to camp, like you know what that yeah. means. Yeah. So how did you sort of come to that description? I didn't. That's not mine. Um, there's a fan, uh, Olivia, who who said it once. I saw her. I saw her Twitter. It was like on her Twitter page, and she was like, "Halsey's my friend from camp." Um. And it just, I made me laugh so much because I totally got it. Like, you know, and like you said, it's like such a, that's such a, I don't know, like a visceral feeling. It's like, you know them yeah. and you feel so connected to them for like a brief moment, but then you don't see them again for like a really long time. But like, if anyone brings them up, you're like, oh my God, yeah, them, like my friend from camp. <laughs> yeah, you know? Halsey. It's like, even though we've only met once, like, yeah. you know, it's like that whole, that whole thing. It's like a very special, a special connection. I think the reason I love it so much too, is when you go to camp and you're a kid, you get to be whoever you want to mm-hmm. be. No one there knows you. They're not people, the kids from home. So you get to go and be the best version of yourself. And like, I've gone out as Halsey in front of all my family and been Halsey at camp you know mm-hmm. where I'm like they don't hold me accountable for my my blunders as Ashley so I get to be like the best version of myself yeah. you know so it's it's cool